I told you before, there's four things that you need to learn about PLC programming this semester. I'll tell you what they are. First, you have to be able to communicate between computers and PLCs. And that's probably the most difficult thing about PLCs. And right now we're using serial communication on all these PLCs. That's the best starting point. The second thing that you need to learn is on. And I'm going to talk about that today. The third is timers. And the fourth is counters. And once you know those four things, you can do anything with PLCs. You have to be able to communicate, talk to PLCs. You have to know how to turn things on and off. Timers and counters, we're gonna get into that later this week and next week. And once you've got a good handle on those four things, you can do anything with PLCs, with any kind of PLC. So you're gonna be masters at this by next week. Okay, so let's talk about on off. So far, what we've been doing is you've been using those switches on the panels for on off because that's the only way we know how to turn things on and off. And using a switch for on off is it's a really easy way to do things but it's got some really big drawbacks. So we talked about table saws and dust collectors last week. And if any of you have a table saw or if you're someone in your family has a table saw at home, it probably has an on off switch. You, you flip it up or pull it out to turn it on and then you either flip it down or, or press it down to turn it off. And that's the way most residential machinery are set up. They just have an on off switch. You turn it on, you turn it off and you know it works fine. But there's some big problems with an on off switch. The first is if you have a table saw in a, like in, in the school or in a industrial workshop and you turn the table saw on and you have a power outage, Everybody leaves the building because there's a power outage and the saw switch is left on. When the power comes back on, that saw is gonna come back on all by itself with no one around and someone could get hurt by it. So it's generally not safe to have machinery, especially any kind of moving machinery that will turn back on all by itself after a power outage. But well, we've got another kind of machinery that you want to turn back on. So if you have a freezer, how many people are in the HVAC program here? One, two, three, four, five, five or six people. If you have a, well, let's say the air conditioning in this building, if the power goes out for an hour and then it comes back on, you want the air conditioner to come back on automatically, right? So, Next door, we've got a machine shop. It has a bunch of rotating and moving machinery and it has air conditioning. If the power goes out, we want the, the mills and the, the saws and all that equipment, we want that stuff to stay off when the power comes back. But when the power comes back, we want the air conditioner to come back on. So we have to be able to turn things on and off two different ways. One so that it'll come back on by itself and one so that it won't. And to do that, we're going to learn about latch unlatch. And sealing. So 
So now we're getting into some real programming. We've got two kinds of on off that we have to learn and we have to know when to use them and when to, when to use one and when to use the other. And they're kind of completely different how we do them. So take some notes. This is gonna get uh, a little bit technical today. Just a little bit. So let's talk about latch unlatch. On your software, you're going to see that we have three kinds of outputs. Go draw. So on this first rung, I've just got a switch, an on-off switch, and that's how we've been doing things so far. And we can connect that to an output, and here's my saw. That's how we did it the first time. Now I'm going to do a, an air conditioning system. And I want a separate on and off button for my air conditioning system. And to do it, it's pretty simple. For my on, I'm going to use a special kind of output called a latch. And it's just got an L on it. And then for my off, I'm going to use kind of a partner output called an unlatch. So with my top one, when I turn on my switch, my saw will come on. And when I turn off my switch, my saw goes off. So it's very simple control. With the next one, when I push my on button, my output is going to latch and it's going to stay latched even when I take my finger off the button. So it's going to show hot here, and I'm going to have the same address here, and it's going to show hot here. And it's going to stay latched on until I push my off button. When I push my off, it's going to turn off these two latched outputs. So it's pretty straightforward. We've got a latch and we've got an unlatch. And I want to show you that on the software. Okay, I've got a project going here. And I'll put in my three rungs and I've got three inputs like I drew on the board. I'll just put some addresses in there. Now, if you look at the top here where these icons are, the first one is an output that we've been using. Can everyone see my screen? Yeah. Good. So this first one is the one we've been using so far. And then right beside it, I've got very similar ones, but one has an L and one has a U. So there's my latch. And there's my unlatch. I'll open my output addresses. So this first one, I have an input, and that's going to turn on my output number seven, which is my yellow light on this panel. The next one, I use this wire three. I put the same address on both of these guys. So I've got output three on both of them. And let's go online and see what it does.
Okay, on this first one, if I push my first button, you can see on, if you can see the panel here, when I push and hold it, this yellow light goes on. And when I let go, it goes off. So that works really well, except I'm gonna get really tired pushing this button and holding it because that's, if I'm running an air conditioning system, I, I don't wanna hire someone to stand here and hold the button to keep the air conditioning running. So I can turn on the light, but it's, it's kind of useless. Now this second one, notice I've got my wire number one for my latch and then I've got wire number or button number two, wire number two for my unlatch, but I have the same address, this output three. So if I push my one, my green light goes on and it stays on. If I push it again, nothing happens. If you look at my, uh, if you look at the screen I'm sharing on Zoom, you can see that I'm pushing this first button, but it doesn't change anything with my outputs. My outputs are staying hot. When I push the next button, then it sends a signal to the unlatch and it turns my light off. So now I've got on and off. And now I can, I can turn on my air conditioning system. And the other cool thing is I'm gonna kill my power. So my power's gone out in my building and then eventually it's gonna come back on. It's gonna take a minute for my PLC to get running again. And once it's running, this air conditioner should come back on. There, it's back on. So this is a great system for an air conditioning or a freezer or refrigerator where you you just have to have that system come back on as, as soon as you can.